Hello, this is Trevor. Today we're working on another, another DOM exploit in Port Swigger's Web Security Academy. This time it's a DOM XSS using web messages and a JavaScript URL. So there's a DOM based redirection vulnerability that we'll get to by web messages. Solve it. We need to do, run the print function. All right, sweet. You know, one thing, well, first, uh, please like, subscribe, comment, that stuff. But one thing I've been thinking of is I'm not using burp very well in these exploits. And I need to start doing that, especially as I think ahead to getting the certification. I want to be able to rely on burp to find the vulnerabilities. And so that's what I'm going to try to do a little bit more. Let me turn burp on. And we'll do that. We'll do. Okay, so let's do an active scan on the home page. And what I hope is that either it finds a DOM based based uh, cross site scripting exploit here or in one of the posts that we'll need to uh, need to check. And I don't see it here. What the oh, it's because it's so slow. Crap, maybe that's not a good plan for this. Um, Let's check this. So it's so we so it needs to be acceptable by let's view page source. It needs to use messages. So I can do control F message and one of three matches. Not that one, not that one, not that one. Okay, so it's not there. Let's go back to the home and view page source and do the same thing control f message not that one not that one not that one ah here we go okay so we've got add listener for the message function e url equals e dot data so it passes it saves off the message it receives as url if the url dot index of http is greater than one or HTTPS is greater than one. Here's our exploit right here. Location.href equals URL. So as long as index of is greater than negative one and HTTP or this, so it has one of these, then we can do our exploit. So Really what I thought about doing, what first came to mind was jo like using JavaScript. Um, let's see, where are we? Right here. So what if we do, let's go to console. Ha, huh, that's funny. I wonder if that's going to cause us issues. So let's do um, let... URL, I'm using let because I want to be able to change it, equals javascript uh, console.log1. Let's just do that to start. And then we want the same kind of uh, logic that we saw here, URL index of. And this should, what I expect this to do, is to print out a negative one. Yep. Because this does not exist in that. So how do we get around this? What if we did dot dot HTTP? Well, oh, I don't want to redeclare it, sorry. I want to just change it. 
that worked. And this should still work. I imagine console.log maybe a semicolon. I think that will work. So let's try it. Uh, we want to go to our exploit server here and we need to pay we need to give it the JavaScript and console.log one semicolon forward slash forward slash HTTP. And it needs the colon, right? Yep. So let's see if this works. Oh, we need the, yeah, sorry. Uh, I frame source equals double quote on load equals, and then we need the same that we did in the last, which is the post on load post message, so vim uh, dom, this dot content window post message on load equals this dot con tent window dot post message and then single quotes here boom boom double quote there and the iframe let's make sure that Try it. Single quote, double quote, single quote, and never mind this double quote because that's from the. Oh no, it's what? Yeah, the double quote is surrounding this text, so it's it's a single quote. This single quote. Oh yeah, we forgot this part. The comma where it's going to post it. Comma right here. This content window post message right there. Comma asterisk single quote. All right, let's view that one. Did I not get it right? Oh, I forgot that I didn't put in the source yet. On load. Okay. Spect console. Yeah. Look at that. We got it. First try. Sweet. Uh, so since that works, that'll be our exploit. Let's go ahead and write it up. Um, let's, what are we going to call this? Controlling, no, DOM XSS using web messages and a JavaScript URL. So DOM XSS using web messages and javascript url.py okay we are in a a blog yes a blog this time let's grab our template and we'll just start from there okay number one we need to do dot blog dot post exploit post exploit and we need the response bodied equal 
our payload, and then we need blog dot is solved. Our payload will equal. Let's go. And see, I haven't cr haven't created one for this one yet. I don't know it's the problem. The reason I haven't is because I don't think I'm. A mind map is with the format. It's the right format. Whoops. No. So that's why I haven't done it yet. It's because I, I keep thinking that I should be using a different format. And then if I use a different format, should all of them use that new format, whatever it is? I just don't think that... When I was reading through the, you know, lessons for these, everything, I, it just didn't seem like I sh the mind map was the best format. Although it did seem like the best format for some of the other ones. I don't know. I guess I could mix, mix and match. We'll see. We'll see what I, what I decide. We need this. Uh, blog dot base URL. We need to put an F here. Everything else looks good except for it's too long, so I'll do boom. Oh, I need to remove that F from there. Put it here. And, you know, I guess I'll just cut it off the same place I did before. Boom. And it's going to rewrite some of that stuff. So it rewrote the first one with single quotes, left the double quotes on the other ones. No problem. GCC. Boom. Python, DOM, XSS, and we have messages. Okay, I think this one's it. Let's send it and see if we got to solve. Come on. Uh oh. No. Don't have a solve. Oh. Gosh dang it. You know, I don't think I can go through a whole one, a whole lab and not mess up at least once. What was the print? So there was my mess up for this lab. Now we're going to solve it. And survey says, wait, what? Okay. Whew. We do who got the solve. Uh, let's take a look, get our banner. Boom. Sweet. Um, yeah. So this was a cool one. We saw that in the script right here, it took the message, um, a web message, and the data of that, and then use that in location.href, um, which is dangerous because obviously we can use the JavaScript uh, scheme, schema, scheme, I think scheme is the right, to uh, trigger our payload. And that's what we did. We uh, used JavaScript. Uh, colon, and then our payload. We did have to deal with one thing, and that's this, these two tests here, which it's just checking that it either has HTTP or HTTPS in the body of that message. So we just tack that on to the end in a comment, which didn't affect the exploiting of our payload, but solved, you know, our or met the criteria here to solve it. Sweet. Uh, that was it. If you have any questions, 
Let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Goodbye.